Hey guys, Matt here for ThoughtSpark. In my very first video, titled, Is it possible to retrieve Voyager 1? I noticed I had made a mistake and many looked over it and many called me out on it, rightfully so. I try and be as accurate as possible. At the beginning of the video, I said it was the farthest and fastest man-made object. The farthest part is true, it is farther than any other object we have launched into space. But as for it being the fastest, it is not exactly correct. If you're looking at artificial objects that are on a solar system exiting trajectory, then Voyager 1 is the fastest object at 17 kilometers a second. There are currently five spacecraft that are on solar system exiting trajectories. And yes, I do realize that Juno, Mariner 10, and the non-operational satellites like the Helios are much faster than Voyager 1. But in terms of a spacecraft not orbiting another massive object in our solar system that is on an outwards trajectory, Voyager 1 is still the fastest. I apologize for my mistake and I should have worded it quite a bit better, but it was my very first video here on this channel and I'm always looking to improve. But could I have also been wrong in saying that Voyager 1 is the farthest man-made object as well? This is exactly what we're here to take a look at in this video. As of this video recording, Voyager 1 has traveled over 21 billion kilometers. Its current power level is at around 249 watts, which isn't bad after 40 years. At launch, its power output was around 420 watts. Voyager 1 is the farthest thing that we have made by launching up into space. However, there's one exception to this. Relative to the sun, there are things that have traveled much farther and if they had an odometer on them, they would have massive numbers. And these things are not spacecraft at all. Simply, they are whatever objects have been on Earth the longest. And remember, I am talking about man-made objects. These items are traveling around the sun at 30 kilometers a second, almost double that of Voyager 1. The oldest known surviving man-made objects in this case are 2.6 million year old stone tools from Ethiopia, which have traveled about 250 light years. That's pretty amazing to think about. By comparison, Mariner 10, being one of the most traveled spacecraft, has been in space in a tight loop orbiting around the sun continuously for decades. Voyager 1, on the other hand, has only traveled just under 19 and a half light hours. Relative to the Earth, by this measure, the Ethiopian stone tools win again. They were crafted and kept relatively close to the equator. So they spent about 2.6 million years traveling at 460 meters per second as the Earth rotates, racking up four light years on their Earth relative odometers. Now what about normal speed things? Without Earth speed and rotation and all that stuff, what things come to mind that could be far traveling as well? You might get the odd million mile Ford or Volvo from the 60s or 70s, or million mile Toyotas that have done equal distance but all with no oil changes, with their original transmissions and engines in place. But there's things that travel farther. With Earth-based travel distance, airplanes of course top this list. In this case, a Boeing 747 or Boeing 777. With that of around 52 million miles, that's 83.6 million kilometers in its 30 year lifetime. Things that spin like hard drives, wind turbines, and flywheels and clutches, some of which can spin for decades depending on use. You could imagine the edge of your hard drive platter. In this case, it would rack up maybe a few million kilometers. The edge of wing tips on wind turbines can rack up up to tens of millions of kilometers. Uranium centrifuges can spin at one to two kilometers a second, and if left for 50 years, could rack up a billion kilometers. So you can look at all kinds of things from different perspectives that have traveled huge distances, but for the farthest man-made item, that goes to ancient Ethiopian stone tools, not Voyager 1. Voyager 1 is just a probe that we launched up into space, and its distance between it and Earth are greater than any other man-made object. I want to thank all my patrons for your support. It really does mean a lot and it really does help out this channel. If you want to donate, just go to patreon.com thoughtspark 
Anybody donating $5 or more will get their name at the end of my credits as a video sponsor. Hit the bell icon to be notified and never miss another one of my new videos. As always, links to my other content will be on screen. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thanks for watching and stay curious.